It's been a time of public protest. Some of those protests have been used for vicious campaigns of hate, both verbally and physically, and others, hopefully from our side, have been used to show love and public support for morality and for peace. But it can't stop there. As important as our public display of supports are, Hanukkah teaches us an additional element that is critical. And that is not what happens outside in public, but what happens in our homes, in our houses. You see, the mitzvah of Hanukkah candles takes place in the house. And indeed, if one doesn't have a place to dwell, if you're on a journey, if you're out in the field, you're exempt from lighting Hanukkah candles because specifically the mitzvah of Hanukkah candles is in the house, the place in which we live. And in addition to that, where do we place the Hanukkah candles? On our doorsteps, by the window, by places that look into the public. The time of lighting Hanukkah candles is specifically when the public are found outside, when there will be passers-by. And so with Hanukkah you have a paradox. It's a mitzvah that takes place in the home. But at, at the same time, it's a mitzvah that is shown and broadcast to the outside world, to the public. Hanukkah is where public and private domains meet. And really what we want to show is that the light, that the warmth, that the good values that we have in our homes, that we breed in our homes, should be portrayed and given over to the world. The Jewish people are people of light, of good values, of good living. We inculcate those values at home to our children in the way that we live, in the way that we present ourselves. And on Hanukkah we say, let that light be seen by the rest of the world. Let that light that starts in our homes, in our bases, be carried further. On October the 7th, so many Jewish homes were destroyed, physically, but also spiritually. Because behind each one of those destroyed homes was a good family with amazing values. And on Hanukkah, we remember those houses that were destroyed. The values behind those houses. And when we light our candles, we pass on our life, we make a statement that the values of the Jewish home, the values that we so strongly believe in, will be passed on, will be given over, will be shared publicly to the rest of the world. Thank you.